Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's The Indigo Disc has rallied up the troops of a possible Gen 5 remake happening. And while yes, there are the speculations and the rumors and the leaks and the bunch like who wouldn't believe such a thing, I'm still asking the question of... Do we really need these Gen 5 remakes? You see, it's important to ask this question in terms of do we really need them because as far as I'm aware, nobody in the Pokemon community has even stressed the points of, okay, listen here, Pokemon company, Game Freak buddy, let's slow down a little bit, okay? While we can understand Scarlet and Violet and Legends Arceus back in 2020 and now the DLCs of this year, look, like, try and, you know, take a few steps back in the bunch. So in terms of like this question of do we really need them, we have to understand several factors in place in regards to this so-called possibility of a Gen 5 remake. Again, notwithstanding the whole rumors and leaks and all that spreading around in the internet like a bunch of wildfires. So the first thing to answer this question is obviously, how would the remakes look like? Because that's the one big concern a lot of people in the Pokemon community has had it throughout the course of this prospect of a Gen 5 remake. The fact that, okay, if we are going to get these Generation 5 remakes, black and white, black 2 and white 2, whatever the deal is going to be, more on that later, how's it going to look like? What's the graphical fidelity here? Is it going to be like Aurats? Is it going to be like Let's Go? Is it going to be like, unfortunately, BDSP, which I hope it does not happen like as much as i enjoyed those games faithful remakes especially for pokemon games are not it fam despite good intentions or otherwise but with generation 5 what would be the graphical fidelity now my take and i think a lot of people might not agree with this take I would want it in the style of Legends. Now, would this mean it could replace a possibility of a Legends Kyurem? Possibly, but I would rather have a Legends Johto base rather than a Legends Unova base for a Pokemon game. And for this case, for a remake, I think it's just better to give it that Sword and Shield style of treatment and, you know, mix it with the, you know, tra traversal and exploration of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So in terms of graphical fidelity, have that engine in store, talk to the B team involved in the Legends games and have them work on that remake while of course we wait for the inevitable gen 10 that's going to happen in 2025 but in terms of gen 5 and the and its graphical fidelity go back to what made it work go back to legends go back to sword and shield make that the workaround for this because it will work if the effort is poured into it i don't want something like generation 9's graphics because as much as i really love the models of those games especially for the pokemon that we got to experience and collect in these games in scarlet and violet the graphical fidelity requires a lot of hard work to fix. They haven't fixed the bugs. They haven't fixed the glitches of the previous base game, despite how many patches they've had for it. So if they really want to do a Gen 5 remake, you got to use to what Legends used. You got to use that. It works wonders. It would just make a lot more sense in that aspect. In regards to that also, the content has to be something similar, at the very least similar to Legends, but you could also use some notes from Scarlet and Violet, especially with Indigo Disc, in regards to how you would want to operate the open world or the large zone areas that obviously we would want this to have in terms of traversals. Like, we get it, the open world concept is not going to go anywhere for Pokemon. We saw it with Legends, even though it was more of a split and zone by zone basis. But of course, with Scarlet and Violet, we saw like a full fledged open world to truly interact with and truly explore as through our own pace and leisure. Generation 5 should at least adopt a style to that in terms of its content, in terms of its exploration value, and in terms of just the scale of how this remake should be. Because again, to go back to Pokemon BDSP, the scale of it was too faithful to its original counterpart that it's almost inseparable in terms of which is the better sort of preference of playing the gen 4 games should you play bdsp or should you play the original diamond and pearl in some cases i would argue in this case you might as well just play bdsp because it has the mechanics of all the other pre of, of generation 8 in terms of battling in terms of fairy types from gen 6 and all those move sets you might as well just stick around with bdsp now in terms of generation 5 it has to go big and it, or it has to go home. That's the big thing, the big key concern with this Generation 5 remake. It has to go big. It has to really expand the scale and the quality of, yes, this is a remake. Similar to the aspects of, for example, to move away from Pokemon, look at for example resident evil 4 and resident evil 4 remake resident evil 4 remake enhanced a lot of what re4 already managed to do and it was a perfect game it is a masterpiece it was almost a the magnum opus 
of Resident Evil titles, and in some ways that kind of sounds a little bit similar in terms of Generation 5, where yes, you can argue that is the magnum opus of Pokemon, so how can you enhance what was already perfection? Resident Evil 4 managed to do that, and I think with Generation 5, if they take a Resident Evil 4 step in terms of content and exploration and allowing the scale to go big, then we're gonna have a really fun time and then we can answer the question of yes, these Generation 5 remakes definitely are worth it. We definitely should want to have these Gen 5 remakes somewhere down the line. One key note also to understand in terms of this question of do we really need these Gen 5 remakes is also to understand the content itself. Yeah, we talked about the scale of it and how it should adopt the open world style elements of Legends and Scarlet and Violet, but we should also understand that the content itself has to be a mix of both black and white and black 2 and white 2 because you also have to understand that Pokemon Generation 5 is the unique marble in the realm of whatever analogy I was trying to do here in terms of the content it has on both games and how you can incorporate the content of those games into one full package because as much as we would like a Gen 5 remake we also have to ask which Gen 5 remake should they attempt to remake? Should they attempt the original Black and White? Or should they attempt a Black 2 and White 2? Or should they try and find a middle ground and incorporate all the elements of all four games and put it into one? Similar to Legends Arceus where it was just one game that everybody bought rather than two versions of one game with all the exclusives and all that. Even though most likely they're going to do that. I mean, if you look at the thumbnail of this video, guaranteed Pokemon Company would want to do that to add more bank into their buck that they're clearly not going to give the game freak in terms of investments but it is what it is so to go back to that you know idea to go back to that content uh, you know example my take would have to be to incorporate at least the good qualities of black and white in terms of the UI design, in terms of the quality of life, in terms of the original content that was initially the hallmark of Generation 5 Pokemon. Now, in terms of black 2 and white 2, the post-game stuff, the additional content they added like Pokemon World Tournament, that would be absolutely incredible to add on to in terms of the content because it would give incentive, first of all, for Pokemon World Tournament to make a comeback. It would be awesome for, you know, similar to how with Indigo Disc, we were given all those Gym Leader rematches, we were given Elite Four rematches with, you know, the, the Blueberry Academy League Room, something like that with Pokemon World Tournament in a modern setting for Pokemon would be absolutely insane it would be crazy like it would be stupid and trust me it's not like they haven't done this look at bdsp again as the pure example of how a remake should not be made you have to understand you have to give us that content it would also be really cool because from like a pvp standpoint from an online standpoint pokemon world tournament can also add this could be something like that as well where it could be like the online area similar to how you have world tour in street fighter or like with tekken you know that something like that would be amazing in terms of additional content and you could also add new stuff there that weren't there you know character customization but a full character customization i should say not something like again with bdsp but something like what we saw with you know pokemon legends arceus something like what we saw with sword and shield try to own up to the character customization here and try to pay homage to black and white and black 2 and white 2 with like legacy costumes where you have the hilda set or you have the rosa set or the nate set or the hilbert set for both characters and you can like incorporate like a male version of rosa or H or hilda or a female version of like hilda of hilbert and nate in terms of their outfit something like that would be really cool to see in general and would also pay homage again like i said in terms of like the original games and what style of content they provided back in the day and all that kind of stuff but overall these are my two cents on a generation 5 remake to answer the question briefly yes i think we really need these gen 5 remakes if it's handled properly and if it's done right and if there is that level of investment in the sense of yes we really want to take our time with it i do not want another cash grab despite again me enjoying these games of a bdsp i want something like what they did with let's go with an attempt to at least make it unique and different something what they did with heart gold sold silver something what they did with auras 
something like that will greatly add benefit to the to the necessity of these gen 5 remakes and it would just be a really fun time for every pokemon fan out there like look yeah i enjoyed scarlet and violet but trust me if it did not have those bugs and glitches it would be a extremely phenomenal game for me but alas that never happened and i pray i really play that gen 5 remakes do not have that at all but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below in terms of if you want a Gen 5 remake, how would you want to remake it? I know there's tons of videos out there. I recommend a couple here and there. They'll probably show up in the screen or I'll put them in the links in the descriptions down below. These are really good thoughts and ideas that I presented and I think might be reiterated by a lot of people. But again, I want to see your thoughts in the comments below. Overall, I'm genuinely excited. I don't know. I'm still a little bit concerned, but we'll have to wait and see for Pokemon Day in February because clearly they would want to have an, a, an announcement of sorts, a teaser, kind of like what they did with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends. But obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. In the meantime, yeah, man, you know, more Pokemon content. Yay! Hooray! I, I don't know how to end this video, so roll the outro, I guess.